Have you ever had one of those days where you cannot help but contemplate your own existence in this vast, ancient universe? It is quite hard to imagine that, barely a century ago, we had no clue about the universe that exists outside of Earth's orbit. Most astronomers of the 19th century thought that the Milky Way contained all the stars in the universe. Humanity was truly living in a bubble. Then, in 1917, Heber D. Curtis witnessed a nova, a sudden burst of brightness resembling a new star, within what was then referred to as the Andromeda Nebula. A nova is a strong, rapid increase in the brightness of a star that slowly fades over weeks or months, but we did not know this back then. So, this phenomenon intrigued Curtis, and he began looking for more novas in photographic records. To his pleasant surprise, he discovered a dozen more of them. But what really got him curious was the observation that the novas in Andromeda were extremely fainter than the novas in the Milky Way. Thanks to this, Curtis estimated that Andromeda had to be about 500,000 light years away. This led to Curtis becoming a proponent of the so-called Island Universes Hypothesis which stated that objects which were previously believed to be spiral nebula within the Milky Way were actually independent galaxies outside of our galaxy. This was a revolutionary step for humankind in cosmology, but we still held on to the belief that the universe was static, that is, not expanding. Albert Einstein even added something called a cosmological constant to his equations to make sure that the universe stayed still. Fast forward to 1928, and Edwin Hubble's measurements of galaxies brought him to the realization that the universe was constantly undergoing a uniform expansion. This then implied that the universe is of a finite age, and that this age could be calculated by mathematically going back in time. Edwin Hubble was then able to estimate the universe to be 2 billion years old. Then came the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation in 1965. This finally ended any remaining scientific uncertainty over the expanding universe and brought the decades-long debate to a much-needed conclusion. While we now were sure that the universe was indeed expanding, the rate of expansion remained a mystery for the next few decades. Uncertainties surrounding the actual expansion rate sparked a massive debate within the scientific community, with estimates ranging from 8 billion to 18 billion years. The wrench in these calculations was glaringly obvious when scientists began to calculate the ages of the oldest main sequence stars and learned that they were more than 8 billion years old. Logically, how could there be stars that are older than the universe itself? This brought cosmology to a screeching halt. But then came the Hubble Space Telescope, James Webb's predecessor, and in 1997, its observations triumphantly overcame the wall we'd hit by announcing that the universe was not expanding at a constant rate, but at an accelerating one, due to an unknown, elusive force named dark energy. When we factor in dark energy into the universe's expansion history, astronomers arrive at an age for the universe that we now believe to be correct, of 13.8 billion years. But wait, there is one problem. The Hubble constant, which is a parameter used in cosmology to describe the rate at which the universe is expanding, still remains controversial. Based on fundamental physics and the cosmic background radiation, scientists suggest the Hubble constant should be around 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec, but observations of the actual stars and galaxies around our immediate vicinity tell a different story. So, that begs the question, what if everything we thought we knew about our universe's age is only a half-truth? Well, brace yourselves, because here is a mind-boggling new discovery. A star cluster in the Milky Way galaxy, which appears to be as old as the universe, or even older. Introducing the star cluster M92, a densely packed ball of stars roughly 27,000 light-years away from Earth, which is estimated to be about 13.8 billion years old or older. The newly refined age estimate makes this group of stars the same age as the universe. This new discovery could break the current age of the universe and introduce a new figure, 
thereby helping solve cosmic conundrums about how the universe evolved. Astronomer Martin Ng of Dartmouth College says, The new age is on the edge of the age of the universe as estimated by other groups, and it helps us set the lower bound of the age of the universe. We don't expect M92 to be born before the universe, right? M92 is a globular cluster, which consists of densely packed groups of stars believed to have formed simultaneously, thus simplifying the task of determining their ages for astronomers. Depending on their mass at birth, stars follow different trajectories during their lifetime. Large stars burn through their fuel quickly and have shorter lifespans, while smaller stars endure for longer periods. Figuring out how many stars in a cluster have transitioned beyond their primary fuel burning phase can help scientists find out when the entire cluster originated. But age estimations usually rely on assumptions about stellar evolution. To employ a more reliable method, Ng and colleagues employed a computer to generate 20,000 synthetic stellar populations for M92, each representing a potential cluster age. Then they compared the colors and brightness of each of these populations with observations from the Hubble Space Telescope, determining the age that came close to the collected data. Previous estimates of the age of M92 depended on a single synthetic star collection, but by comparing thousands of synthetic populations, the researchers significantly reduced the unpredictability associated with assumptions in each model. This new technique reduced the uncertainty of the cluster's age by 50%. The team determined that M92 is approximately 13.8 billion years old, with a margin of error of around 750 million years. Remarkably, this age aligns closely with the best estimate for the age of the universe, slightly over 13.8 billion years, with an error margin of approximately 24 million years. Cosmologist and study co-author Mike Boankin of the University of Texas at Austin says, One way around that tension is to accept a different age for the universe. We often think about it as Moses came down from Mount Sinai with 13.8 billion years written on some tablets or something, but it's not quite like that. He added, If one takes the Hubble tension seriously, then one also has to say we don't know the age of the universe that well. This discovery shines the lights back on the recently published University of Ottawa study that claims the universe is not 13.8 billion years old, but a whopping 26.7 billion years old, almost twice as old. But to basically sum it all up, the new model stresses the existence of stars like Methuselah, which appear older than the universe's estimated age, and the discovery of early galaxies with the James Webb Space Telescope, observed only 300 million years after the Big Bang. These ancient galaxies show levels of maturity and mass that's typically associated with billions of years of cosmic evolution, presenting a significant puzzle. But advancements in computing, theoretical understanding, precise measurements of cluster distances, such as M92, and finding primordial galaxies in the Dark Ages justify a renewed approach. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku had, in fact, called it a year ago. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, your gateway into the unknown. Until next time, keep looking up, folks.